welcome to buildingblocks.tv. Um, welcome to our newsletter or video newsletter, video blog, whatever you'd like to call it. Today we'll talk about two things. One tip for your restaurant, which is include your customers in the fun, and one trend which talks about snacks, um, which is basically becoming a whole new day part. So um, first of all, include your guests in the fun. A lot of times your team will have a tendency to um, have fun amongst themselves, laugh amongst themselves, you know, kitchen with the staff or the, you know, the servers amongst themselves. I want to do this tonight, this weekend we did this, blah, blah, blah. Make sure they're having fun with your guests. Teach them that interaction. This is how you build customer loyalty. Make sure you teach them that. And I mean, it can be very um, physical from having a kid make his own ice cream cone if you have one of those machines or, or I've had a lady serve her boyfriend's beer behind my bar on his birthday. Pick your moment though. But these are memories that, you know, they talk about this five years later when I meet them to this day. So pick your moment, maybe not in the middle of the rush, maybe not when it's overcrowded, maybe not when there's 20 other kids. And if you do it with one, you have to do it with 19 others. But you know, if you pick your time and you're creative with stuff you can do with them, um, if you have regulars that go into your store, they're really proud of being regulars. They're really proud when the bartender remembers what they drink. So if they ask you about a certain, you know, part of your business or the kitchen, take them with you in the kitchen and have them visit the operation. You know what? You want to build customer loyalty? You make him feel part of the family? You show them, you know, bring him to that wine cellar, bring him to that kitchen and show them. Paul here is making that appetizer you love. This is it. Paul, you want to show, you know, uh, Tim here how you make this? Tim gets out of that kitchen, like he's going to take all his friends, his family. I know the owner. I've been in the kitchen. This is fantastic. You have to taste that. Bring him into the fun. You're going to see, you know, you're going to build customers for life. And, and they're gonna bring more people and you're gonna create that. Also, but like if you have a wine cellar, that's the perfect thing. Somebody talks about a wine, you're, you're touching tables and somebody mentions something about the wine, you open a discussion about it, come see the wine cellar. Bring them in the wine cellar, show them what you got. This is, you know, this is where we keep our Italian, the reds, the this, the whatever. You, you find something to talk about, but they'll feel so much special for having, you know, been there or, or lived through that. Now you do that as an owner, an operator or a manager, build that you don't live i hope for your sake that you don't live in your restaurant you probably do if you're a restaurant owner but this is why you need to come back and get informa information with us because that's why we want to teach you to get a system to not live there but teach your staff to do that empower them to do that not to do crazy things not to you know that's gonna you know make other people jealous or or but do special things at special times with the right people teach them that they can do that and empower them you don't want every client in the kitchen but if you have somebody that goes to your restaurant once a week or a couple of times a week that you know that's really interacting with your staff and yourself and all that well you can build customers long you know for, for a long long time this way and make sure that your staff is aware they can do that also okay it's not just for you but empower them to do the same thing and build those relationships be creative I'm just gave you a few ideas but even in that relationship they have with them, whether it's just to include them in, you know, in, in, in the joke and, you know, if something funny happens with the staff, I mean, maybe they can tell their table, you know, and, and, and bring that, that relationship to something other than taking an order. You don't want order makers, right? You want relationship builders in your restaurant. You build a relationship with your guests, they're going to go to your restaurant 10 times before they go somewhere else. And a lot of times they want to do it just to support you also because they have that relationship with you. Build friendships with your staff and with your clients and you'll see over the long haul it's going to make a huge difference. Um, trend that's happening right now, it's been happening for a while, it's becoming a whole day part in and of, in, in of itself is the snacks, okay? So people, um, schedules have changed, no, not everybody works in an office 9 to 5, stores close later, people work at different hours, eat at different hours, not everybody's having breakfast at 8 o'clock and lunch at noon and dinner at 5 or 6, okay? people eat at different parts of the day. Uh, also with the training phenomenon where people try to be you know, very aware of, of, of taking care of their bodies and it's something that's being talked about in health stuff. Um, in workouts and working out and, and diets and being careful with what you eat and eating conscious and healthy a lot of times it's eat five six smaller meals than eat three huge meals hence a lot of those meals um, are not going to be a full item menu they're going to be snacks think not bar menu with you know just cheese sticks and chicken wings everybody or fried calamari okay 95 percent of restaurants have these items on go creative beef satays or, or whatever. I'm not gonna start going there, but there's a bunch of, of a little healthier 
Um, and think if you're going to go with the training people, you know, or the training crowd, think healthier, smaller meals, protein based with veggies. This is a lot of, of the diets or, or, you know, focused on that. Less starch, less bread, but more protein. So a little satay with a little bit of vegetables or something. Um, be conscious of that day part. If you have a little coffee shop, but have kind of snacks other than the muffin or the cookie available. Okay, something a bit more elaborate, but smaller portions is something that's becoming a huge, a huge money to be made there and a huge opportunity for uh, any restaurant company. Um, hope you guys are doing great. Keep working hard. If you have any questions, you can comment on the site here or reach me at info at rbbsolutions.com. Um, I'd be glad to answer your questions. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.